Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a vintage haul. I am so excited. I have a bunch of things in front of me that I want to show you, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. First, before we get started, I wanted to say what I'm wearing today on my eyes and lips. I'm wearing the uh, Anastasia Rose Metals eyeshadow palette with one of the shades in this Maven Cosmic Drip palette, this shade right here. And my lip product today is the Tarte Lip Plump in the Primrose shade. So let's just get right into it. I have vintage makeup. I have cookware type products. I have some books. I have a lot of fun stuff. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to start with some vintage makeup. So I have a bunch of different little things here. So First, I actually went to Virginia very briefly and I got some stuff in Virginia. So I'll show you those first. I have the teeny tiniest little sample product. This is the Tangi, which is my first Tangi part product. And it is the Rouge Compact Sample. And then if you look on the back, it does say it's a theatrical rouge, which I think is really cool. And it says, Tangi Theatrical Rouge is a special dark shade of the famous Tangi Rouge. Glamorous, vivid color for every complexion matches the Tangi Theatrical Lipstick. So how fun. But this is so, like, look at how tiny it is. It, like, this is my hand. <laughs> it is so, so cute. And I love the little, like, Art Deco design on it. So cute, definitely my smallest <laughs> little compact. Yeah, I can't open it at this point, but it is so cute and I absolutely love the packaging here. Just adorable. And I think this is from the 20s or 30s is what my, my guess is. Next is this little Three Flowers face powder from Richard Hudnut. And this is another little sample, but it is a little bit bigger than the other one and it has some wording on the back let me see clings to your to the skin and gives that youthful bloom so universally admired uh, will you not test for yourself the merits of this superb powder by using this sample i think this is the 20s or the 30s and ooh, it still has product in there it looks like it's like super tiny or is that the puff Oh, that's a puff, I think. That's a baby puff, and there's a lot of, there is some powder in there. Wow, how cool. And I actually love this little, the imagery here with the, I don't know, it's just interesting with the maid and the um, girl on here. And I actually have the bigger version of this. This is a Naturel Three Flowers face powder. I have hauled this before. But now I have the little baby version of it. It's kind of in like a metal tin, but how exciting is that? I absolutely love this. So I was excited to find that as well. I think the TNG one was $12, so this one was more. I think just because of the name, you know, the brand, but this was $7, I believe. And then I also got my first Armand. I think you, that's how you say it, product. This is their cold cream powder sample. And I absolutely love the packaging here. And it is, yeah, the cold cream powder. It was $1. Oh, yeah. Let me see if they have these the prices on these samples. These other ones don't have a price, but this one says $1 on the back from Iowa, it looks like. But how cute. I absolutely love this. Let's see if there's anything inside. Ooh, ooh, there's a definitely still powder. Now I'm gonna get powder everywhere. <laughs> Yay, love this. This I believe is from the 30s and it's in pretty good shape, this little sample. So that was $7 as well at one antique store. I got all three of those. And then one more thing, I got this Heather Rouge. And I actually have a few of these. This is my third Heather Rouge, but this one is a theatrical rouge, which I don't think the other ones say theatrical. So it makes me believe this one's older 
and it also looks older just because the packaging let me compare it to this one so i think this might be like 20 to 30 this one i believe is the 30s and it's kind of different this is like cheaper feeling packaging than this is more like metal then i have this one that i believe is from the 40s so let me hold these two up together yeah i already had these two but i have one more heather rouge now and this one is theatrical so that's super fun and it doesn't really have the label on the back either and then we have the little puff and look at this gorgeous shade oh my god it's gonna fall out like the other one does but look at this it's such a pretty bright pink let's compare it to the other shade this one's a red here whoa and then what one is this one? Oh, this one's also like kind of a peachy pink. I think this theatrical one is more of a bright pink than that one. So, so pretty. This is actually the type of color that's like trending now. The like cool toned bright pink. I'm telling you trends come back. So love that and so excited to have this. I can't remember how much this one was. It was pretty affordable, I believe, but I got all four of these little compact rouges um, in Virginia and they were pretty affordable. So super excited. Yeah, I'm guessing this is from the 20s or the 30s. I keep them all in this little shopping cart. How adorable. This is like a little mini shopping cart I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago and I just didn't have anywhere to put them so I put them in here I thought that was cute next I'm gonna show you this gorgeous compact that my amazing friend Meredith got me it has such pretty like hand-painted orange and blue flowers I'm not sure what brand this is and it's really hard to open so I don't know if I can open it to show you but so pretty I'm guessing this is from the 50s just because of the gold packaging I'm not sure but so pretty and I couldn't find it online either so it just feels like one of a kind I just really love it and I'm so thankful that I got it so that is an awesome addition to my collection then I got this from my boyfriend's mom it is a little mirror compact and the flowers on here are so gorgeous I think maybe this is also from the 50s I'm not sure but it just has a double mirror in there so cute i absolutely love it i want to keep it in my purse because it is so cute and then this is the most special compact of all in my entire collection it is a little notre dame or notre dame um souvenir compact and i got this from my my amazing family friend so it is my cousin's grandma not my grandma but um by blood but she's my my cousin's grandma but i kind of considered her a grandma growing up she passed away recently and it was very very hard i mean she was older but still um and anyways they found this in her belongings and i think in the 50s she was in paris and so or she was in france and so they asked me if I would want this and this was a souvenir she had and she kept for all of those years and I think it's from the 50s, I'm not 100% sure, but there's the little sifter and then the mirror here. But I'm going to cherish this forever because it belonged to a wonderful woman that will be very missed. So, so excited to have this in my collection and remember her by um, just really special so wanted to share this really sweet that they thought of me to give my aunt thought of me and <laughs> to give me that and yeah i absolutely love it then we have let's keep it rolling i have this beautiful painting that i found at an antique store and the artist here is listed i don't know how to say his name i believe it's jules Ber i don't even know how to say his last name but here is the what it says on the back it's a watercolor painting and it is this gorgeous lady with a ton of blush on come on so cute i absolutely love her dress and her little bow and her 
you know, her makeup, she has red lipstick with like some blue eyeshadow and then the blush placement. I can't, it's so cute. So I think I'm gonna hang this eventually in my girly bathroom, but I wanted to show you because I was excited to find this. This I paid a pretty penny for. I paid 125, I believe, but I just couldn't leave without it. I don't know how to explain it, but I needed it. I couldn't find anything on the artist, so if you know anything about him, definitely let me know. But um, I don't know, it looks kind of 1920s to me, like her look, possibly, possibly. Love that, so exciting. Then I got this little Barbie ornament. <laughs> How cute is this? It is the Enchanted Evening Barbie ornament. And she has little pearls on and this little fur thing. And I love her makeup here. This was from 1996. And it is like, that's when this came out, the Keepsake Barbie keepsake ornament from Hallmark, I think. Is it Hallmark? Yeah. Um, but it is modeled after the 1960s Enchanted Evening Barbie. So love this. I actually own the en Enchanted Evening Barbie. Not the original one, but like a rendition of it. And so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I think it was at an antique store as well. And I just thought it was so cute. So Yes, I have this little ornament and she is just adorable. So love that. Then we have some vintage drinking glasses. So recently on Etsy, I picked up some, I needed more drinking glasses. So this one is a white hall blue glass and I got uh, four of these and it looks like they're from the 1960s is what I'm seeing but I thought they were really cool looking. This next one is from, it's actually made in Italy, also from Etsy, and it is a little goblet, and I could not believe it. Like, I don't know why I wasn't drinking out of goblets before, but it's just very, very fancy feeling. I absolutely love it, and I got four of these as well, and they're kind of clear, but like with this mint color to it as well, so really love this. So cute, and I'm excited to have those. Sticking with cookware, I have ooh, my pink Pyrex. So these are the nesting bowls, and I talked about this one here in my, or I showed this one in my recent favorites video. These are from, I believe, the late 50s, maybe 60s. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? And this I paid a pretty penny for these four. I only have three to show you. The big one that looks like this one is, um, is, I have food in it right now, but look at how cute. They are the Cinderella Gooseberry Pyrex nesting bowls. I got those in New York and I just absolutely fell in love when I saw that pattern on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, so I had to purchase those when I saw them at an antique store. Absolutely love those and using them for you know snacks or food whatever i love it and then next i got some vhs's so my boyfriend got the um vhs player working that we have the old one so i bought grease and clueless at a estate sale i believe and recently my boyfriend and I watched clueless together and it was really fun uh, with the vhs so yeah picked these up recently next this may be one of my favorite things in this video i got a vintage vogue and this is my first vintage vogue i hope to collect more but it's the revolution in beauty and this is the may 1958 edition and i just think that's amazing i absolutely loved looking through this i think i'm gonna make a whole video on this because I really enjoy doing those types of videos where I'm showing an, a vintage catalog or vintage magazine. It's just fun to kind of go through, but so fun. I absolutely love this and it's just one of my favorite things. I can't believe I found it. I got a Memories of Perfume book here and if you remember from another video, I talked about the beauty of perfume 
which is the same like creator, the same author here. And um, I read this already and it was really cool. And so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I think it was 10, it says $10. I think it was about $10, yeah. It was just something I couldn't pass up. So I'm excited to read this soon. And then some more books. Oh yeah, also in Virginia, I got this one and it is the Vintage and Contemporary Purse Accessories. And I have already read this one so far this year. And of course, it's a lot of pictures, but there are some, some text. There is some text as well. But this one was so, so good. I absolutely loved going through it. Like there is some lipstick. There was also some solid perfume in here. But my favorite section was, of course, the lipsticks. But they have hand mirrors and all sorts of things. And I just really enjoyed going through it. And, you know, some of these are on my wish list for sure. So really enjoyed this. And then I also, from another antique store, I got the Vintage Ladies Compact book here and I also did finish this one this year reading it going through it and it's from the same author as this one so it was kind of funny that I found them both in like the same month or so and yeah this one has some amazing compacts and vintage ads and all sorts of things in here so definitely recommend these if you are a collector as well and it's just fun to figure out what you know, year products are from and just learn more from those books. I really am glad I found both of those. Recently at an antique store, I also found this Victoria's Secret robe. I don't know how vintage this is, but it did say it was a vintage Victoria's Secret robe. And look at how cool this is. It is like gray with purple and blue flowers. And it is like kind of silky or satiny feeling, but look at how cute. I can't really like show it fully, but it is just really, really pretty and I love it. And if you wanna see some vintage nightgowns and a vintage robe that I picked up kind of recently, check out my Valentine's Day vlog that went up last month and check out that i did like a little haul of some vintage nightgowns and a vintage robe in that video but this is something i'm excited to add to my collection as well it's just really nice and luxurious feeling and so that was like 22 dollars i think yeah and i think that is it i got through it all those are some vintage things i picked up recently Please like and subscribe if you want to see more vintage related videos. I absolutely love vintage stuff. I really enjoy collecting vintage things or just researching, learning. So it's just really fun, especially vintage makeup. I really am passionate about. So definitely stay tuned for more vintage content. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Bye.